In this video, we're going to learn how to print the odd numbers in an array using C. So first we'll declare an int type array called array, which will initialize with the numbers 2, 5, 9, 17, 15, 14, 20, 21, 3, and 1. So this array has the odd numbers 5, 9, 17, 15, 21, 3, and 1. So what we want to do is print out only these odd numbers in the array. Now each number in this array is stored at an index. So for example, 2 here is stored at the index 0, 5 is stored at the index 1, 9 is stored at the index 2, and so on for the rest of the numbers in this array. Now this array has 10 elements total, so we say the array has a length of 10. We'll store that length into an int type variable called length, with int length is equal to 10. Now to solve this problem of printing only the odd numbers in the array, what we'll do is examine each number in the array one at a time, from the first number in the array to the last number in the array. And only if that number is odd are we going to print out that number. Now we'll make a for loop with a counter variable i, and the counter variable i is initially going to be at the index 0. So we'll have 4 with int i is equal to 0. That means in the first loop iteration, we'll use i to examine the first number in the array. Then what we'll do is increment i with each loop iteration. So here we'll have i++. So in the next loop iteration, i is going to be here at the index 1. And then we'll examine this next number in the array. And we'll keep incrementing i by 1 and keep examining the next number in the array. We'll stop this loop once i is no longer less than length. Because once i is no longer less than length, that tells us we've gone past the end of the array and we can stop. So up here, i is less than length for our loop condition. So now we can use array at the index i to access and examine each number in the array. Now an odd number is an integer which when divided by 2 will give us a remainder of 1. So for example, 9 is an odd number. And 9 divided by 2 will give us 4 remainder 1. And this remainder of 1, when dividing 9 by 2, tells us that 9 is an odd number. Whereas if we take the even number 8 and divide 8 by 2, what we'll get is 4 remainder 0. And this remainder of 0, when dividing 8 by 2, tells us that 8 is an even number. So to check if a number is odd, what we can do is divide the number by 2. And if we get a remainder of 1, that tells us we have an odd number. Now in C, there's an operator called modulus, and the modulus operator is going to give us the remainder of a division operation. So for example, if we have 9 percent 2, where percent is the modulus operator, what we'll get here is 1, because the remainder of 9 divided by 2 is 1. Whereas if we have 8 modulus 2, we'll get 0, because the remainder of 8 divided by 2 is 0. So if we take the number in the array at the index i, and we divide that number by 2, and we get a remainder of 1, that tells us that we have an odd number. So in that case, what we'll do is output the odd number. So here we'll call printf, and we'll pass it a string with percent %d to output an int value, followed by backslash n for a new line. So we're going to output each odd number on a new line, then we'll output the odd number in the array at the index i, with array at the index i. Now if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll get here only the odd numbers in the array as output. Now one more thing we could do is put this logic inside a function, so we could call the function in different places in our program. So up here we'll declare the function. The function is going to have a void return type, because the function is not going to return any value, it's just going to print out the odd numbers in the array it's passed as an argument. We'll call the function print odd. The function is going to be passed the array and the length of the array as arguments, so we'll have the parameters int array and int length. Then we'll copy this and supply a definition of the function down here. And what we'll do is just cut and paste this logic into the function body. So we'll take this here, and for our function body, we'll just cut this here and paste it inside the function body. And because we use the same function parameter names as the variable names that we were using before, this code is going to work exactly as it's written. We can now call print odd in main. So here we'll call print odd, and we'll pass it the array and the length of the array. And if we save compile and run the program, 
we'll get here the odd numbers in the array. So this is how we can print the odd numbers in an array using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.